What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Appreciating Comic Book Art video. Today, we're going over the Violator sketch I did on Frag of June on the 25th. And uh, if you like this channel, please give it a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and share. And uh, yeah, let's get rolling on this because I had a lot of fun doing this. Believe it or not, this was the first time I drew the Violator. So let's check it out. As you can see, I like to work from a very loose base. It's pretty much just a lot of shapes. And then I'll, uh, I'll slowly bring in detail as I go. Kind of something I picked up from watching Mark Silvestri draw quite a bit. The idea of never letting the pencil rest too much trying to capture that that energy as much as possible plus being the fact that this was a uh, frag of june i only had an hour to do this so it kind of freed my mind up a little bit i didn't overthink it as much as i might normally i just kind of went in and started doing it had that time limit going had a base idea of what i wanted to do and kind of just uh, freely did it And that was the process after having the layout put together for the most part of what I like. I'm going to go through and add a little bit more detail to this loose sketch before I go right to inks. Just give me a little bit more of an idea of what I want to do with the piece before I really start laying down the permanent lines. Normally I'd start with tight layouts, outlines of everything, and then I'd do uh, some detail as I go. It just you know, kind of let my brain just just go free and, and pretty much put me wherever wherever it does. But you'll see me bounce around a lot. Uh, I've never been able to just start from one spot and just do the entire outline and then start from the top and detail down. So like I'll just kind of go wherever my mind just kind of sends me. Knowing that this is going to be a night scene, there's going to be a lot of heavy shadows, so I know I'm going to put a lot of uh, thick areas of black in here, so it kind of gives me a little bit more freedom to have a little bit of mess ups every once in a while when I'm doing this, the outline of this, knowing that I can always go back through and just black it out. If this was a finished piece, like for a book, uh, I probably would take a lot, a lot more time putting the lines down so they were a little bit more smooth. Uh, but since this was a sketch and I had an hour limit, I was keeping it in the the sense of, of of a sketch. You know, I wanted to keep the energy. I didn't worry too much if the lines weren't perfect. I just wanted to make sure I could get the uh, detail and the feel of the piece down before 
the time limit was done. Pretty much I'm just adding in a lot of texture with the brush pen, which did a lot of the heavy lifting which cut back on some of the time so I don't have to work, worry about it too much. Then I just go through and add a small detail to bring it all together. Whereas if I had more time, I might have not been so heavy with the brush pen. I might have gone in a little bit more with detail and maybe even a heavier texture than I ended up going with. But again, you know, this is kind of an exercise in speed, so to speak. So I used what was available to me at the time. I'm still very happy how this turned out. This is probably my favorite one. The Hellboy sketch is really fun to do, but this is a little bit more along my lines of drawing. I really enjoy drawing monsters. You know, what better way than to draw uh, one of the ultimate monsters in Tom and Farrell's universe, the Violator. And of course, the ultimate cheat here, just thick, thick black shadows for uh, the platform that he's standing on. Which is kind of good in a piece like this. I don't really have to draw too much detail like a chimney or whatever you know just kind of giving your eye uh, a familiar kind of shape that you can kind of be like okay he's he's on a building you know he's he's on a he's on a chimney somewhere but it, it all works aesthetically with the picture All in all, I had a lot of fun doing this piece. I'd love to draw the Violator again sometime. And maybe I will. But uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching this. Thanks for checking out. Again, if you like this content, please hit the subscribe button, share it, and uh, I will see you all later. Thank you again.